Dutch Texas, what you say? How's every little thing with you today? Well, all right, I reckon. I feel pretty fair. I just got a letter from my gal down there. Down where? Down there. Where's there? Where's there? My gal's down home in Texas. Don't give me that stuff. You do all right. Why, I see you with a different chick every night. Now, I'm not a bad guy. Won't mention any names, but what's the story with you and the dame? Well, Glenn, I guess I do do pretty well, but there's really not an awful lot that I could tell. My pa was a pretty sharp cat in his day and says he used to court more in the old-fashioned way. Why, that old-fashioned stuff wouldn't stand a chance in the hustle and the bustle of modern romance. Oh, it wouldn't, huh? No. Well, you'll find out. I'll show you just what I'm talking about. But why, man? Okay. They didn't have no airplanes. They didn't have no streamlined trains. But they had lonely country lanes when Paul was courting Paul. They didn't have no red sea bars. Fancy drinks and caviars. But they had lots of moon and stars when Paul was courting Paul. They didn't have no commentator with the news broadcast. They'd listen in on the party line and get their news almost as fast. They didn't have no electric lights, just my lamps that spoon at night. Still in all, they did all right when Paul was courting more. Now all you say is true, I guess, but there must be more to your success. Have you told all, Texas? No. Say, just one thing I got on Paul. He didn't have a saxophone when he courted Ma. It's a funny thing about the gals today. They go for a guy that can swing and sway. Now, Texas, I think you got something there. Something where? Something there. Well, where's that? Right there. So go on, start blowing. Well, okay. Get going. Go on. Well, I'm a going. Start blowing. Start blowing. 